Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2015 Grade 5-6 Contest Question 13, which also came up in the Grade 7-8 and 9-10 Contest. So the question is, which of these fractions is nearest to 1? Alright, so in this question we will be looking at the difference of each fractions, each of these fractions, to 1. Alright, now let's start off with option A, with the first fraction, which is 12 over 23. And now we want to find the difference of the, this fraction to 1, since we want to know which fraction is nearest to 1. So this fraction as a whole would be 23 over 23, and since this is 12 over 23, the difference is 23 minus 12 is 11 in the denominator, and then over 23. Okay, now let's look at the next one. We have 23 over 34. So the difference would be, take the whole as 34 over 34, minus 23 is 11, again in the numerator, and then over 34. So 11 over 34 is the next difference. All right, now let's look at the next one. So for C, we want to find the difference again. So the whole would be 45 over 45 minus 34 is 11 again in the numerator, and then 11 over 45. All right. So now let's look at the next one. For 45 over 56, the difference, well, 56 minus 45 is 11. 11 over 56, so Again, the numerator is 11, so we're starting to see a pattern here. All right, now for the next one, 67 minus 56 is 11, 11 over 67. Again, the numerator is 11. And finally, for F, 78 minus 67 is 11, and then 11 over 78 would be the difference. All right, now we can see a pattern here. We can see that for the difference of each of these fractions, to 1 is 11 over and then whatever the denominator is. And now since we can see that the, no the numerator of course stays the same, it's always 11, but the denominator is getting bigger each time. And since you're dividing by a bigger number, that means that the difference is getting smaller and smaller the further we go down the options. So since we know that the differences are getting smaller and smaller, we know that the last fraction we used, which is 67 over 78, must, be, ha, must have the biggest value and therefore it must be nearest to 1. So now all we need to look at is g5 over 7 and see maybe if that's bigger than 67 over 78. Alright, now let's compare 5 over 7 to 56 over 67. All right, so we have 5 over 7 and 56 over 67. All right, now we know we can also write 5 over 7 as 50 over 70. Okay. So now let's compare these two. Here we can see that the numerator in 50 over 70 is less than this numerator, which is 56, and the denominator is bigger than this denominator. So for those two reasons, that means that 56 over 67 is greater than 50 over 70, which is also 5 over 7. So therefore, if we look at the options, we can see that E must be bigger than G, and we already know from earlier that f is bigger than e. So therefore, we know that the biggest fraction and the fraction that is nearest to 1 is f, 67 over 78. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.